Hey, what's up? So today we tested AR. We had this uh, the AED race car here on the dyno with the CPR turbo kit uh, with the new 94104 turbo. It made really good power. And I was thinking and chatting with my boys uh, that, that know a shit ton about turbos. And we decided to give a shot to the smaller AR housing. And uh, we got the results here today. But before we do that, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what AR actually means, okay? So here's the uh, 132 AR from Forced Induction Turbos. This is the uh, 104 housing, okay? So AR is calculated as the area of the air, uh, airflow in here at a given point, I think probably right around where the, uh, the scroll exit is, the front of the scroll exit. So the area in here divided by the radius from the center of the turbine shaft to the center of that area. So it's ambiguous because it changes with different turbos and all that stuff and different sizes and it gets it insanely difficult to try and calculate uh, and get accurate on. But we went from the 132, that's this one, to the 115. Now I got pictures up under this video you can see. Uh, essentially, this in here, on this one, okay, this turbo is really big in there compared to the 115. This even has a little hump here. So it's like, it's small here and then grows and it's pretty big. So by the time it hits the scroll exit, the start of it, which is right there, okay, that's where the airflow will start to uh, exit the turbo and, and turn, the, turn the turbine. Okay, it's a lot bigger right there on the internally and a lot bigger all the way around than the 115. Crazy part is the diameter of these outlets, okay, and the, the size, so the total area of, uh, of this here, these two, which is the exit of the scrolls, of the twin scroll, right? Uh, the area here is identical on the 115 versus the 132. So we can assume that that's probably the restriction in the turbo. Actually, after this test, I'm, I'm yeah, that's the restriction in the turbine and, and not the actual housing. The housing itself being larger uh, just has slower air. So we'll go to the, uh, to the dyno and see the results. Here's the car. And we're just about ready to button this thing up, put on some uh, fresh radials and, and head to the track. Okay, but I didn't change shit in the tune, didn't change the boost controller, didn't change anything. Let me show you what we got here. By the way, we're using the uh, forced inductions turbo. Uh, let's bring up boost controller, I think. So we're not using CO2. Okay, so Nah, I wouldn't even bother with that. We hit a little bit more boost. So the boost control was at 76% for both of these runs. Now, the green run, uh, actually let's, the red run made more power peak, okay? So previously, a couple weeks ago, we made 15, 58 through the auto. Uh, it was pushing a lot of airflow. Uh, that's through the power glide and the, uh, and the, uh, radials and the, and the loose converter and uh, right here is comparison to the 85 millimeter so i was losing a lot down here and there was nothing i can do it just wasn't coming up on on boost fast enough right so to sit here at at this and lose almost 500 was uh was was not going to be acceptable this car would come up on boost but i've got to get i've got to launch out here we, we don't have like the best track so I might have to launch at like 4,000 RPM and 10 pounds of boost to get out of the hole. So from 10 pounds of boost going to this, that run was 30, 31. If it takes too long, cause it won't come up cause I'm at too low of an RPM and too low a boost, man, I can't get that turbo lit. It needs to be lit by the 60 foot. So that's why we went with the AR change. I was a little worried that the extra power wouldn't do much for me. Not that the car wouldn't be fast, but that it wouldn't do as much as it could. So, and this is why comparing the, uh, the 85, to the 95, okay? So this is the 85, 96 with a 115 AR 
versus the 94104 with the 132 AR. Okay, so then we just finished the testing today. And here is the black run is the 115 AR uh, on the 94104. So we picked up almost everything from the 85 at, at that point. That's 400 and almost 450 horsepower what we needed to get out of the hole. Not only that, it made 32 pounds of boost at the same boost controller setting, 32 and a half. So we had an extra pound and a half of boost. So it made extra power up here. And we peaked at 1592, that is SAE. We only do SAE here. So we're not gonna say this is, you know, we can get higher numbers if we just change the correction and it'll say, oh, we made 1644, but nah, SAE, man. Okay, so now we're gonna compare this one, 1592 to the 85. And look at that. Now we're talking. This is also, uh, we also had the converter restalled for the bigger turbo to get it out of the way faster. So we're not pulling, it's a looser converter. Same RPM, but the mile an hour, we don't have quite the mile an hour. And even still, we, if you take that into account, we might be lighting this 94 off as fast as the 85. And we're not deficient. Hmm. Uh, very much compared because we'll be launching this thing around 4, 4,500. So, sorry about the hand in the way. That's, this is a, uh, this is a huge win to see that. And, uh, we can't wait to get, get out there, but I wanted to, you know, you just grab a turbo off the shelf and, uh, you never know, you got to get the turbos matched correctly for the car, for the application and for what you're doing, right? Ideally, you want the smallest turbo that will get you the power that you want, that you need, because you gotta get it lit off. But with that, uh, too big of an AR, too small of an AR, okay? Um, I don't know, like this AR seems about right. You know, maybe a, a 1.0 AR, if they made them, would have made something else. I don't know, you'd have to see it, how it's designed. But in general, the 115 here worked great. I've got customers that, uh, have done this on their twins too, where it's coming in too late and they'll just switch down to a smaller AR. And not only does it come in faster, but it makes more, which means that they're not, the, the turbo is just more efficient. It's, it's getting up to speed a lot faster, which is what you need to do. So yeah, there we are, man. This is uh, AR change back to back. Amazing.